someone is in trouble. Hey guys, it's Janixa and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about some insider OPI information. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. But anyway, a few days ago, I did a TJ Maxx shop with me and I found a polish from OPI that hasn't even been released yet. And the polish I'm talking about is this one. This is Bon Voyage to Reality and it is from a collection between OPI and Barbie the movie. OPI and Barbie the movie obviously are going to come out with a collection, but the thing is, it's not out yet. And this is already at TJ Maxx. That doesn't make sense. Usually when polishes are available at TJ Maxx, it means that they have already been available for purchase at other retailers like Ulta for at least a few weeks. So when I saw this polish at TJ Maxx, I was very surprised. I picked it up. There was a few of these, but all of them were the same color. I did pick it up for $4.99. Initially, I thought that maybe TJ Maxx had made a mistake and had put these polishes out too early, but I was actually sent a message by one of OPI's distributors. I'm not going to mention which one, but they sent me a message and just asked me for some information. And in return, they gave me some information, which I'm going to share with you now. So it turns out that this wasn't a mistake made by TJ Maxx. This was a mistake made by a distributor that gets products directly from OPI. So what happens is distributors usually get the merchandise, I don't know, maybe a week or so or at least a few days before OPI's official release date, you know, just so that they can have everything set up to start selling it. And they have to follow OPI's instructions about, you know, when they're able to sell them. So if OPI says you cannot sell anything until May 30th, then these distributors have to, you know, abide by that. They can't sell anything before May 30th because they run the risk of being removed as OPI distributors. Well, OPI has already found out that these polishes have been sold to TJ Maxx and now they're trying to figure out what distributor sold them. See, the reason that this is a problem is because OPI has contracts in place with Mattel, you know, the Barbie people, they have contracts in place. And in those contracts, it specifically says when these polishes can be made available for purchase or can be released. So the fact that a distributor has already released them could potentially damage the relationship between OPI and Mattel and also could hurt OPI in the future when they're trying to do other collaborations with other brands or companies. So as you can imagine, OPI is trying to figure out what distributor did this. And I was thinking, okay, if they figure out what distributor did it, then what happens next? Well, what happens is they could receive a warning from OPI and then they may still be able to stay on as distributors, but OPI will most likely not send them their collections in advance. So they would have to wait until the actual release date to even have their stuff shipped out, which means that other distributors will be ahead of them and who knows, it can potentially cost them sales. I just thought all of this was really interesting. I don't know if you're like me, but I like to know the little details that go on in, you know, the back end of, of the nail polish industry. It's just really interesting to me. And finding this out was actually kind of a lot of fun. <laughs> So you're probably wondering how is OPI going to figure out what distributor sold these bottles to TJ Maxx? Well, OPI actually has a pretty good tracking system. So if you get an OPI bottle and you look kind of on the side right here is where mine is, there is actually a code on the bottle. And that code is tied to a specific distributor within OPI's system. 
So all OPI has to do is get their hands on this code and then they will know what distributor was releasing or selling products before the specific release date. I think that's a really good system by OPI. I was told that they do this because sometimes OPI polishes might be sold in places where they're not supposed to be sold. So what they might do is send someone over to buy a bottle just so that they can see what that code says and then they will know who is distributing their products to places where they're not supposed to be. I didn't think that those codes were that important. I always noticed them on the bottle and I wondered why they were there, but I don't know. I just, I guess I didn't really give it much thought. So to know that that's the reason that these codes are on the bottles, that's, that's pretty cool to me. And I think that's actually very, very smart of OPI. It's a great way to be able to track your merchandise and keep track of what distributors are following your rules. All right, guys, that's all the tea I have for today. Let me know if you thought this video was fun and let me know if you're like me and you like knowing these details. I would love to talk about it in the comments down below with you. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.